Hi kids! Today we're going to talk about electron configuration. Yeah. So if you see those configurations right there, it might look a little scary, but it's not. There's a really simple pattern. So let's get right into it. All right. So, so if we, we look here, uh -huh. what do we got? So I see S, D, P, F, just like we talked about, different orbitals. Yeah. So if you notice the first two columns of the periodic table right would hope be two electrons, and that's the S block. Ah, we call that the S block. Okay, S orbitals can only hold two electrons. Right. So one, two, one, two. Well, in this one, one, two. Helium is actually part of that S block as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. So then we also have P, okay. which if you count is six. P so is still six. following the same pattern. So right here, everything except for that, we got one, two, three, four, five, six across. P yeah. orbital has six electrons. Awesome. And then following suit, the transition metals, well, that's the D block. Okay. There will be 10 electrons in D orbitals. There's 10 there. That's, this is really, really easy if you just actually can count. Yeah. Awesome. The pattern kind of fits. And then, and then F, we have 14. F's all the way down there because F is special and it's got 14. Awesome. Doesn't fit. Makes the periodic table cleaner. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay, so you also notice we see going down, down the periods, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This refers to the energy levels. Oh, okay. I was wondering what those numbers meant. So not only do we talk about these are as period numbers from periodic table, but these are actually the energy levels that, that these electrons live on? Right. Is that it? Okay. So in the first energy level, it's small. You can only have an S orbital, which means you can only have two electrons. Oh, okay. The second energy level has an S and a P. S and P. So we could hold two, three, four, six. No, eight. Eight. Six from the P and two from the S. Right. So we can have eight. Okay. The third energy level, we have a 3S, a 3P, but we also have a 3D. So now we can hold 18. Oh, okay. I see it's getting... Getting a lot more complicated here. All right, and then four is where we start adding in for for all the green ones, and we and have fourteen four. as well. Okay, yep. so we can hold. So they can hold more and more as we go up. Right. Okay. So then, when we're doing electron configuration, we're writing the essentially the address of where all the electrons are. Okay. So let's practice one. Okay. Uh, so which one would we like to practice here? Let's do sodium. Okay, so sodium, we need to actually know where sodium lives, right? Yeah. So sodium is right here. And you guys, this mismatches your periodic table exactly. So just so you know. So sodium is right here. Um, does sodium have just that electron? Nope, that's going to be the last electron. So we know it's going to end at 3s1. Third energy level, s orbital, one electron. Okay. But there are electrons in every location before we get to 3s1. So we need to include all of these electrons that came before it, right? In our yes, in our exactly. Okay. So so tell me here. So we're working with this again. So how do I do that? How do I write it? So you would write 1s2. So starting with the 1s orbital. I have both this one and this one, right? right? So two. You don't have to write 1s1 because when you say two, you know there's two electrons there. Okay. So next I would go with what? What's What comes next if I read it like a book? 2s2. Two 2s1, two. Two 2. 2p6 because we filled the whole okay. p orbital. So all six of those. So the second energy level, p orbital, uh, all six of those. And then the last one. It's 3s1. Is 3s1. One and that is for sodium, right? Yep, that would be it. Okay, reading it just like a book. Uh, let you want to do one more. You want to do one down here. Let's. What if what if we have this element right here? Okay, so let's do. Okay, uh, so we're looking at uh, manganese. Manganese. Okay. Okay, so I have to write everything that comes before this and above it, right? Right. So let's. Let's start it out, right? So I would start with 1s2, 2s2. Yep, see, same thing. All of these, 2p6, all of these, 3s2, 3S2 all of these, 3p6, then these down here, 4s2, and then it jumps to 
3 3D. 3D from 4S. Mm -hmm. Just reading it like a book. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3D5. And the reason for that is the S orbital fills before the D orbital, but the D orbital has less energy. So it's in the third energy level. Okay, so to your example there, I, I want to point something out. I got a, another little uh, slide here that actually may help shed some light on that. So if we can get there. Okay, so this kind of shows you the order in which things will fill up. So the first orbital that fills up right here is the 1s orbital, followed by the 2s, then 2p3s, 3p4s, and as you can see, all the way down. And that's the order that they actually fill up. This shows you over here the energy levels and, and uh, how much energy they have going all the way up. Right. So mm -hmm. noble gas configuration. Ah, yes. There is a shortcut. Okay, let's let's clear this, and why don't we... So let's write sodium again, or actually let's do aluminum. Okay, so actually let me go backwards. Let's hold on a second. I'll edit this back. Okay, do aluminum. okay so aluminum I know ends at the 3P1 position looking at my periodic table. Okay, that's right here. I know aluminum's right there. Okay, so let's write the whole configuration for aluminum. Okay. So it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Okay. okay. Now, if we write the noble gas that comes before it, it has to be the preceding noble gas because I haven't gotten all the way to 3p6 so, yet. So not this noble gas right here. Right, the one that comes this before one it, actually comes which before would be it. neon. Let's okay. just write that configuration right below the one for aluminum. Okay, so this is aluminum, so the one down here would be neon. Neon would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, right? Yep. So you notice that's exactly the same. Yeah, so... So we can replace 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 with neon in oh, brackets so to say, okay, neon. This right here is already the same thing as what neon was. Okay, so instead of that, let me just kind of erase here. Instead of writing all that stuff that was already neon, I'll move that right there, I can just write neon. Yep. 3s2, 3p1. Yep. Because it's exactly the same. Yep, so you go to neon and then you go past it three spots. Okay. This takes a lot of practice, guys, so don't get frustrated, but uh, we're here to help you. Just let's, uh, you just gotta plug through practice problems. I'm sorry. Sounds good.